Uh, let's bring on Ben Bolin from the Boston Globe. He's been covering yes. the, the New England Patriots for a long time. We can ask him directly instead of me trying to defend him. We'll get the answer straight from Ben, who's going to be joining us on the Fan Cred Fan Line. Ben, Bro- thanks so much for joining Bro- us today on Jabroni Talk. How are you? All right, Wiggy, I'm in the car right now driving home from Patriots practice. So Yes, be uh, careful. I'm working on, I'm working on my, uh, you know, uh, anyway, I've been listening to you here, and I love you, Wiggy, but you have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, I, like, literally I, no idea what you're talking about. And, I, like, how, how many ways are you wrong about this? The question posed to Tom Brady had, was not about Julian Edelman. It was not, was Julian Edelman pop for PEDs? The question was about Alex Guerrero getting dragged into the conversation by a lot of people, including your partner, Mike Felger, who's talking all about, well, Edelman's suspension means that it's, it's a win for Belichick over Guerrero and all cast all our suspicion on Alex Guerrero. So that was my question to Brady. How did you feel about Alex Guerrero getting linked to this? What was your reaction to that? And frankly, it should have been a very easy answer for Tom Brady. He should have said exactly what Alex Guerrero said, that it's ridiculous there's zero proof. It's unfair. And I can't believe I'm even having to talk about this, but it's absolutely not true. And I stand behind him a hundred percent. The question has nothing to do with Edelman. It was all about Alex Guerrero getting dragged into it. And that was the first time that we got to talk to Brady uh, since the suspension went down in June. It's not like TV 12, Alex Guerrero, they're opening their doors up to the media all the time and welcoming us in. Like what planet do you live on where where that's a possibility? Guerrero put out a statement June 7th when it all popped and basically said, hey, we have no involvement. So why not take his word on it rather than asking Tom there? To me, when you ask Tom there, you're not really trying to get information. We all know what the deal was. He made a statement about it June 7th basically saying, hey, we had no involvement, nothing to do with it. We do everything the legal way. We take the holistic measure, all that approach. So to ask Tom about, you know, the 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 – the, the, the PD suspension and the Edelman and, and people trying to link and I, like Felger. Felger's a clown and asking him, you know, people to like link that, then it just makes you look like a jackass because we already know the answer to it. And that's no, the problem it- I have with it because it's not a good question. And for everybody who's like, oh yeah, it's a good question. It's not. It is. Not one media person, not one professional, someone who does press conferences and interviews for a living has had any problem with the question. It's only for fans and ex-players and people that want to pray at the, the altar of Tom Brady. And, like, that's fine. And I'm fine with him the way he handled it. If he wants to walk off, like, that's, that reaction was telling. That answered the question. He thought it was ridiculous. But it's absolutely fair. For Alex Guerrero has openly addressed the situation. He released a statement. Tom Brady, it's not just a normal player-trainer relationship. Alex Guerrero, you know, is the godfather of his children, and Tom Brady sings his uh, praises every chance he gets and, Half the team goes to see Alex Guerrero. So this is not just a normal relationship. And Julian Edelman, also Mr. Guerrero, Mr. TB12, he gets popped for PEDs. People link Guerrero to it. Tom Brady's whole business and off-field life revolves around this guy. I'm not allowed to ask him for his reaction? That's that's absurd. That's just absurd. Why not ask Julian? He's down there. Why not ask Julian? Other people asked Julian as well, and he defended Alex Guerrero. I'm talking about you. Why not? Go up to Julian and ask him. Tom Julian has and met Tom me. Brady. Julian and Tom Brady were talking at the exact same time. I've not quite figured out yet how to be in two places at the same time. I'm working on it, but I haven't figured it out yet. I was sitting in on Tom Brady, who's the star quarterback of the team. First time talking, all training camp. We haven't heard from him. All these questions we need to address. This is how it works. I'm a credentialed part of the media. We get one chance a week to talk to Tom Brady. Like That's the opportunity to ask him questions. And absolutely, for the being the first time since the the PED suspension came down, it was absolutely fair to ask Tom for his reaction to this guy getting dragged into the conversation. That's all it was. I wasn't accusing anyone. I've never once said there's any sort of proof linking Guerrero to to Edelman and PEDs, but he clearly got dragged into the conversation, and all I was doing was asking Brady for his reaction to that. Well, like I said, it was a dumb question. Bottom line. Bottom line. Well, you know, I, I'm glad we hashed that out, Wiggy. I'm glad we got to the bottom of it. Good. 